over but the crying. Mm -hmm. uh, very apt. Cool. So if we actually pause here, we have uh, a few little notes. We got uh, a magazine of some sort. Mm -hmm. um, you have uh, Blast Radius, the board game. Yeah, so already old it's classic. Very, yeah, it's very uh, Fallout themed. Yep. You know. As yeah, and we'll it, see it as it should be. What I like about this is uh, we'll see in a sec right here. Yeah, you're switching from a, like post bomb to kind of pre war. Like you're seeing like kind of things before they they went to crap. Yeah, and we're gonna see more of this throughout the trailer. So I'm kind of wondering how the narrative's gonna be delivered. If you're mm -hmm. gonna experience like. Uh, you know, almost a perfect world and then a destroyed world and how people dealt with yeah, it. Yeah, like that Bioshock Infinite thing where you see it like before things went bad, yeah. There's some booze over there. Sure is. Dog. <laughs> now, everybody's calling out this dog. If we actually go back, let's just get our first look at him. Uh, everybody's calling him dog meat already. Yeah. Um, that's kind of the traditional name that we call uh, the dog in Fallout games. And we're assuming here, like dog meat in Fallout 3, that this is a companion, travels with you, has hit points, you know, can, can take some damage for you, can uh, level up with you. Can carry like all your stuff because you're over encumbered. Yep. <laughs> yeah, there was a puppies perk in uh, in Fallout 3 where uh, every time dog meat died, a, a puppy would spawn and it would have double the hit points. Oh, yeah. It's really cool. Um, so here we have uh, Mr. Handy. He is a, a classic staple of the game. He's just basically a robot that flies around and uh, tries to help you, but he is not like perfect. He always kind of does stuff a little wrong. And you can make him mad. And you can make him mad. Uh, and, uh, he has some sugar bombs in his hand there. Yep, those are eat those to get some extra health. Mm -hmm. we've, we've got or for nutritional value. Stand by. <laughs> there's no nu there's no nutritional value in frosted sugar bombs. I like this dog a lot. He uh, he can drink water or eat food out of that bowl. And yep. there's Mr. Handy's box. Yeah. How, how long do you keep your boxes for, like, your PlayStation 3? Uh, I still have most of I move a lot, so I like to yeah. keep them for, for easy moving, easy packing. That's a good, good reason. <laughs> move forward here. We got our first look at uh, parents with a child. Yeah, there's a little Nuka-Cola truck there. Mm -hmm. um, an F block. An F, F for Fallout. That's right. I would say, or for other things. I like Aww, this. This is the cutest. Just, that's that's my favorite. I like that he smiles. Oh, that yeah. dog's so cute. I wonder if they did mocap for that dog. We do have coming in. I wonder if it's the same dog from Call of Duty. Of yes, uh, yes, I'm saying that. That would be cool. I like the shot where it switches. Like uh, all these yeah. shots are interesting where it's switching between the the people kind of fleeing the city as it were a, to the dog running in post apocalypse. I think yeah, that's cool. Yeah, here's the the area destroyed and here it was before. And you had uh, something to say about that airship. Yeah, it looks like an Enclave uh, airship, or it could be a Brotherhood of Steel airship. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't really tell the difference between the two, but uh, yeah, we've definitely seen those before in the Fallout franchise. Our soldiers were right. I like that shot. Too. This shot's really interesting. So if if we just scrub forward to right before the cut, it is uh, prepare for the future. So those are people going into a vault and before the war it looks like people were like oh my god like there's a bomb coming we need to hide and uh it looks like uh, uh soldiers are stopping preventing them from getting into the the vault and are those brotherhood of steel soldiers or can we tell uh them? brotherhood of steel is a faction that happens after the war so i'm not really so these sure. are just kind of guys in power armor basically yeah i believe so not really sure what their where their allegiance lies we we'll have to find out now, this is really interesting. Vault 111. So, 101 was the vault in Fallout 3. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the vault from New Vegas. Seems like something we might have looked up before yeah, we did Yeah, we probably should have looked that yeah, up. Uh, you can leave us a comment below and let, <laughs> let everybody know how dumb we are. Oh, they will. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 111, uh, you see it. This comes up a little later, too. I, I think it's interesting, vault Tech societal preservation program. Um, as we were saying, obviously, this is something that people... You know, like, I, I, I like getting some perspective on the origin of why people were in these vaults. It was voluntary. It was kind of something people were doing. Yeah. Obviously, it, they knew the, the bomb was coming. I, I think that's kind of a cool perspective. Yeah, and we're about to actually get into some really interesting stuff where it is confirmed that, yes, we are in Boston. Now, we were talking about this before we came in here. Uh, this guy looks like he's crawling out of a vault as mm -hmm. opposed to, um, like, walking out a door that's forward. He's, like, crawling up and out. It's a little bit different from what we're used to and uh right here here's really interesting this is uh the bunker hill monument uh yeah it's a memorial to a uh, uh revolutionary war battle mm -hmm. apparently it's interesting yeah 
It's cool how many... Uh, we have a few Boston natives uh, here at the IGN office, and uh, they recognize this immediately. Yeah, I was going to say it's cool how many landmarks there are. Uh, someone's like pointing next. out the, the how convenient it is that even in the wake of a bomb, all of these famous landmarks are back. Oh, yeah. Um, so this is the USS Constitution, and it looks like it's been uh, upgraded? Yeah, maybe fashion. a bit. Uh, yeah. Old Ironsides, uh, Jared said it, it is known as, because uh, cannonballs bounced off the sides. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's uh, it's really interesting. I I wonder. It looks like it's gonna be like an airship. Uh, we're hypothesizing. Yeah. And uh, here is a, here is a really nice shot of uh one of the lo- locales that you'll be exploring. And uh, Tal, uh, he pointed out that this guy could be um the gunslinger. Oh, from uh, that character. Perk. And that so that perk from basically perk. Uh, yeah. one in every whatever three times or five times whatever I forget the ratio. A mysterious that, person. Yeah, he would come yeah. over and, and give you an extra shot. Basically, he would shoot at your enemies. Uh, that memory den there is kind of interesting. Um, I don't know if we know what that is. Maybe it's kind of an Eternal Sunshine style wipe your memories. Yeah, uh, maybe. Or it's I I think it might just be like a bar. There's usually yeah. a bar location on like every sure. Fallout. So I, I I love just it's. it's the so atmosphere cool. is perfect. Yeah, just that cool, like, noir, like that little singular light source. That's really cool. And then here we're at uh, some sort of farm area with uh, one of the the electricity towers, and uh, there's a Brahmin out there. Yeah, and they normally travel with merchants. You see a couple people in the background there, I believe. Um, but, yeah, it's it's really weirdly like a security. blanket seeing all these fallout staples yeah it's nice to know that they kind of got it right now here is a soldier of some sort hanging out with uh, a mutant mm. and uh, i An found that interesting pairing. traditionally they're not friendly to each other yeah it's kind of like the odd couple it's well like a reboot it, of the odd couple we could be looking at the main character and the companion because you do get a mutant companion in three uh, fox i believe his name is i don't remember his name i think you're right i think it's f-a-w-k-e-s fox. yeah that's I right wanna, i want to make right. it clear that i'm not I saying remember. another word that it's, it's been years since i played fallout 3 but i played like 200 hours of that game, yeah same so. same same yeah love love also uh just more boston stuff that train is i think i, I believe a, a boston metro train yep uh that's what chris abbott said our uh, boston native uh this is a protectron but mm-hmm. he looks a little different than the the normal protectron. A little like, bit different, a different color, I think. Yeah, more Bostony. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there was so this is just a, it's a weird thing to point out, but that's a crab. Yeah. They always fight crabs in Fallout, mm-hmm. big crabs, or uh, even in Skyrim. But uh, this guy looks a little different than uh, what we're used to seeing. He's uh, larger. Yeah, he's a New England, a New England, New England crab. crab, a little more delicious. With some plant chowder. Then there's your uh, your dog meat pal. There is a uh, death claw there. Ugh. Hate those guys. You shoot him in the leg with a dart, Andrew, and then you just go to town. Then you pull out your uh, that's good for me to know. Your nuke. I, I got killed by them a lot. In yeah, a lot of the they're New really Vegas really tough. Stuff. They're yeah. like the toughest guy that you can fight. No, maybe not New Vegas. Maybe in three. Fallout Three DLC. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's fine. And then here's another look at that airship. I still can't quite make out if that's uh, friendly or or not, but uh, it looks like you're going to be flying around because we actually see the main character in one of these later. So you will have some sort of transportation. Uh, some ghouls, I'm, I'm guessing these are? Yeah, these look a lot different than the ghouls that uh, we've seen, like the feral ghouls in the, a lot of the uh, subterranean areas. Yeah, and these guys hate supermarkets. Yeah, they hate shopping carts especially. So uh, this shot's really interesting. This looks like uh, the main hub. Like um, in Fallout 3, we had Megaton. Mm-hmm. Um, in New Vegas, there was uh, the same type of thing. And I- here, here we think it is... Probably Fenway Park. I yeah. mean, just based purely on that baseball statue. Um, we were looking at pictures of the outside of Fenway Park. Um, you know, I'm not super familiar with the area or sports in general, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, I mean, I'm a, based on that statue, you would have to imagine this is Fenway Park. Yeah, and uh, we think that they changed stuff slightly because yeah, they maybe don't the MLB has like a license to it or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're saving it for MLB the show 2015. Uh, Swatters Custom Baseball Bat Store. Yeah, that looks like an Enclave robot too. Yeah, you know? and what does that sign say? It says enlist. Swatters, baseball bat. Oh, no, to the right, the poster. Oh, enlist, yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't catch that before. That's a that's a good note. I can't make out any any other details, but it looks like a, another faction that you could potentially join. Yeah, it just says your country. Name. It's interesting. Hmm. Here's a look at kind of uh, one of the city areas that you'll be exploring. Yeah, Diamond City, it's a Can we care? Oh, man. Fallout's so there- cool. There's a giant airship, and uh, in front of it is the the uh, statue, the Paul Revere statue. Yeah. And uh, a giant ship flying in the background. Do you think you get to yell the British are coming? Oh, I hope so. When you play this game, I'm going to jump up behind you and yell that. I'm going to yell that no matter what. 
Oh, there's a smaller airship there, too. Yeah, so a uh, smaller airship like the one that uh, this character that we're looking at is actually on. So this could be the player looking at this soldier in the power armor, mm-hmm. and uh, but we don't know that that's necessarily him. And finally, we have one more shot here at the end uh, that I wanted to point out. Actually, we have uh, GNN Radio, ah. which is great. Uh, another radio station that we're going to be enjoying. And then we have this big shot of the Massachusetts uh, State House. This is a cool shot, too, just gives you kind of a little bit of that room and skyline. And, uh... Uh, it, looks, it looks gigantic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very yeah. excited. Very excited to explore more uh, Fallout, uh, see more about this story about these people and what happened. Yeah, I'm hoping we actually get a tiny bit of time to look around pre-war. There was... Um... I think it's is it Operation Anchorage in one of the DLCs. It spent a little bit of time in um, kind of this like very peaceful area, and then it and then it's kind of hallucination. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so right here, there's actually a ton of notes about uh, just this garage because they released a still about it before. Uh, we see some laser rifles on the wall there. There's a bobblehead. There's a heavy machine gun. We see some power armor here that looks like it's being worked on, so that maybe you can. Uh, Repair, but uh, it's more extensive, the repair system in the game. Yeah, maybe. Because, like, maybe they're customized. working on the arm and leg specifically. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, on the right there, we have uh, your set of comics. One is definitely uh, guns and bullets we were able to make out. You have uh, the vault tech little things uh, on the wall. And I think I missed something on the other side, the other half. Oh, the Nuka-Cola machine, of course. Nuka-Cola has to make a comeback. Uh, the bottle cap system is the monetary system in the follow-up games. And uh, if we look on the, the other side here of the image, we can see there is a broken Mr. Handy there in the corner. Uh, right. And there is a rifle of some sort. It looks like it has a battery attached to it. So I think it's an energy weapon, but we're not really sure. I couldn't uh, find anything similar to it off uh, immediately. I think and it's then, cute. Uh, the dogs are excited to see his owner. Yeah. The owner's wearing a pit boy. Let's go. Pit boy. He's from Vault 111. And then uh, we outro the logo. And you're all. Now that we've seen the trailer in its entirety, how are you feeling about Fallout 4? I'm excited. I uh, I think, you know, it, it's a lot of, like I said, it's a, it, it, you know, it, uh, it, there are a lot of things that are familiar from Fallout 3, which is exciting to me, but also I do hope it can kind of tread some new ground and, and you know, because I, I really like Fallout New Vegas, but it had a lot of similarities to 3 that I think, you know, maybe aren't what I want from this. You know, I, I hope this does something different. Yeah, I think this is going to be uh, a pretty big departure from what we've experienced, but it's going to have those staples that make you feel secure. I hope so. You know, I'm really excited. Anyway, what do you think about Fallout 4? Are you excited? Let us know in the comments below. And for more on Fallout, you're already in the right place. IGN. Thanks, Dustin. Thanks, Andrew.